chips designed for a high-performance Mustang includes a proper hood scoop. Mating a scoop with the steel hood will require some fab work and a flange that assures a tight and clean fit. What I'm doing is I'm laying out with tape where that actual flange is going to be. We're going to glass that up. Then I'm going to go from the underside of the hood and I'll drill the holes back out. We'll put the hood scoop back on. And when you pull the bolts tight, you're not actually pulling big lumps into the sheet metal. Now all we've got to do is uh, all the work it's going to take to make that scoop look good. We're also installing two intake body pieces on the sides of the Mustang. Like the hood scoop, these pieces will need some modification to give them that Shelby look. One of the issues that we have is just the gap. So what Chip's doing right now is just laying some dirt gloss on the back side of it. So it's going to be a nice tight fit once it's done. See, now we have a fit where that part fits right to that. Bill will appreciate Chip's high performance design every time he fills her up. On the back of the Mustang, I want to run the flush gas cap. So I've indicated with a couple lines here where the cap is going to sit. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut out to that first hole. The second hole is actually where I'm going to bend a flange and roll that in. Then we're going to build a new piece of sheet metal and drill some holes so that this will screw into the body, but it'll be below the surface of the back of the car. When it's all finished, basically that's what it's going to look like. I think that's going to look pretty hot. And a new mod to the fastback side vents is pretty cool. What I'm playing with right now is the uh, rear quarter conversion kit. It's actually a window that replaces uh, the fast back air scoops that go on the side. So any passenger sitting in the back would just push these open, and that's how you get your little air conditioning going on. So the black trim bezel is actually going to fit in there. So what I've got to do is cut this portion out, use the existing lines that are there, slip that in. Once that's done, go to the other side. It took me four days to do. I mated with it, I married it, and but the finished product of it is what I'm proud of. As you can see, we've done some glass work here on the nose. We cut it and raised it up. It's parallel to the bottom of this front fascia. So everything lines up, it's looking really good. Hey, Velocity fans. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to see more great videos.